Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering the fall damage and leading from this tutorial to the next one is going to be the blood splat because these two are linked. Now you may think this is pretty tough to do the fall damage but believe me it's one of the most easiest things you can actually do in a first person game. But if you want to do some you know, advanced things on it it can get a bit hefty but not too complicated but it's doable you can still do it and I'll be covering that kind of stuff as well not to worry anyways let's start working on this now for the fall damage we need to use our FPS input controller script we made and I believe if you've been following my tutorials the last place I left, left off was with the walk on gravel and walk on wood sound effects which I will be redoing by the way now underneath these lines I'm going to be adding the fall damage stuff. Now let me delete one of the variables, I shall leave it there. Go right to the top and make the following variable called var jump height and it's going to be type float equal to zero. Okay, that's what you need to do for now, save that. Go back down where we exactly were and let's start coding that. So what we want to do is we want to find out how high we jumped and um, what the value is. Now let me put that more better actually. So let's say if we jump and that variable is equal to zero, that that variable there is going to start adding on to itself and that's going to tell us how much distance we had from the floor to us. So how much gap we had between ourselves and depending on how big the gap is we can get hurt depending on the value it gives us. So if it's 50 we can get hurt, 100 will kill you obviously, uh, 25 probably a little bit damage and so on and so forth. You'll probably get, the, uh, you'll get it when it's completely finished. So first thing we want to do is we're going to check if open bracket, closing bracket, open curly brace, closing one. We're going to say if grounded equals equals false. So if this is false, jump height is going to be a plus plus and I want to debug jump height. So I'm going to say debug dot log warning open bracket close bracket and inside here just put jump height. Now that's just going to display the height, the value of the jump height. You'll see in a bit. Save that. Let's go into Unity and let's test that out. Now underneath here it should tell us the value of the jump height and it should be you know plus plus so it should go from one all the way to whatever. There we go. Alright, so it's it started off from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up to twenty three. So once it reaches twenty three it stopped. That's because we are grounded now. Now how do we actually keep that and then apply the damage after that? That's what we're going to do next. Alright, underneath this one let's make a new statement. Open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. And we're going to say if grounded equals equals true and double ampersand signs and jump height was greater than or equals to 100 then we're going to apply some damage. I'm just going to debug something for now so debug dot plug warning and I'm going to say you just lost some HP <laughs> that'll be alright. Oh I forgot my speech marks uh, obviously we can't apply the damage yet because I haven't actually added the player's health yet which we will make it soon and also the, the GUI for the splat screen isn't ready yet so I need to call that over here. Save it and underneath here let's just add a last one it says if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace we're gonna say if we're grounded If it's equal to true, 
then jump height resets itself back to zero. Now let's just test all that works. So I said if the value is greater than 100 or 100, you should get that, hey, you lost some HP warning. I'm going to drag this around here. I think there's 100. We'll find out from the bottom. Two, four, two, two, come on, come on, come on. Nope, wasn't high enough. Ah, this seems to be all right. Yep, there you go. As soon as we reach 100 or above, you just lost some HP. So then we can call the hurt script from there. Then, as you can see on the inspector mode, jump heights reset us back to zero. To zero. Okay. I'll save. Uh, save your scene. And for now, I'm not gonna actually make him go. I'm not actually gonna do a lot of things. Like say, if it's 75, do this. If it's 35, do this. You can probably do this yourself. But I will be doing it because I need to actually start creating the the GUI now, the blood splat. So if you guys get this done and I will see you in the next tutorial, as always thank you for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, take care.